it's Reagan, and today I'm here to do my April favorites. Now, April, it's finally like today. I'm not even kidding. I'm filming, and today feels like the very first spring day in Chicago. I can't wait to wrap up this video and just go outside and feel it on my skin. But because the weather is finally warming up, I have some really exciting spring items to show you guys, including a whole bunch of new spring glasses. Yes. That's right, I am now an official Glasses USA partner. I'm even gonna have a page and everything. It's like a very exciting moment for me because you guys know, one, how much I love glasses, and two, how much I love Glasses USA. If you're not familiar, Glasses USA is an online glasses retailer and they literally have thousands upon thousands of frames to choose from, all at way more affordable prices than you would get if you just go to like a glasses store. I love buying my glasses online because it allows me to save a lot of money and then I get a lot more options. I swap out my glasses pretty much every day depending on what I'm wearing. So I picked out four new spring frames that I'm so pumped about. So let's just start with the glasses haul. First two frames I am obsessed with. They're actually from the new Hilary Duff Muses glasses line and I just think they're so freaking cute. The first pair are these. I have been wearing these a lot. They are like, they're a burgundy wine color and they're like big and thick and I just feel like they're like BAM! These are the Muse X Hilary Duff Clara frames and I really really like them. I just love the burgundy color. I love how like statement they are. I think they fit my face really really nicely. They're a really really nice weight but not too heavy. They just are like a really nice glasses. I'm like a huge fan of these guys. So these are the first ones I picked out. And the second Hilary Duff frame I picked I think is a little adventurous for me but I also think they're like perfect for spring and I love the color. They're these! These are the Hilary Duff Lizzie frame, which I love for a lot of different reasons. Lizzie McGuire, hey. I thought these are really cool because they're kind of, um, they're kind of like that old man glasses trend, but they're a little smaller, more petite, but they still have the bar. So I feel like they're like on trend, but in my opinion, a little more wearable because of the more petite size. And I really, really love the color. It's like a soft gold, which I just feel like is more flattering on my skin tone. So. Really love these frames as well. Moving on to my last two pairs, I really, really wanted to get some pink glasses for the spring, so I picked up two. The first one is like a rose gold pair, which I just think is so fun. Check them out. These are the Atuo Danielle. They're like a rose gold, like, top half and then just like a clear glass frame. I think they're really really cute and just like sleek and simple but like they have a little pop of color for spring which is ideal and exactly what I'm looking for. I love them. The last pair I got might be my favorite. I don't know it's so hard to pick because I just feel like all four of these frames I'm gonna be wearing all the time but the last pair I got are these. They're like the perfect shade of pink and I'm just obsessed with them. These are the Nancy frame <laughs> which just I feel like is so fitting. They're like this like retro light pink color, kind of like a retro shape. I love them so much. I think they're gonna be so cute in the spring. They just, they have, it's like this perfect crystal light pink and I just think they're really really flattering. I think they're the perfect shape for my face, the perfect color. I'm a huge freaking fan. So excited about these glasses. And as usual I have a coupon code which I'll leave linked down below and be sure to check them out and I also have all the glasses linked if you're interested to learn more. But yes, these are my glasses. I'm gonna take these off now to prevent you from being blinded by my ring light. But moving on to my fashion favorites for the month. I recently did a spring clothing haul so I only have a few things to show off and they're more like general items I guess that I have been loving recently. The first item I'm going to talk about is this awesome Topshop button down. This has been everywhere and for good reason. It's this really awesome linen button down shirt with these tortoise buttons. I am including this because first off, yes, I love this shirt, but I'm like obsessed with anything with these like tortoise buttons right now and linen. And obviously I love a button down and the white color makes it perfect for spring. It's a really, really breathable shirt, which I feel like is gonna be perfect when it heats up, but I love this freaking shirt. Next is a pair of Topshop pants I hauled in my newest clothing haul and they're these paper bag waist um, fitted cargo trousers. These are the most comfortable pants I own. I also find them to be incredibly flattering because of the paper bag waist. These pants are just incredible and I really implore all of you to get a pair of try them on to see if you like them because they go with everything. They're so soft and so comfortable and literally so flattering for every body type. 
and I don't say that lightly. These pants are the bomb. Next is a new pair of jeans, and they are the Madewell Cali Demi Bootcut Jean. I love this style of jeans. I put a hole in my last pair that I had for a couple years, so I needed to replace them, and I found these guys on sale at Madewell, so I picked them up immediately. Uh, I love this style of jean from them. It's like kind of a flare, it's kind of a straight, but like I find straight leg jeans to be really hard to find for my body shape. They either fit, fit my waist and are way too tight everywhere else or vice versa, but these have some really nice stretch but they have like the silhouette that I'm always looking for and so these are super comfortable. Excited to wear these all spring and summer. I love. Next is a jacket that I'm just so excited I can pull out again. It's this green lightweight quilted bomber jacket, but honestly, my favorite thing with spring right now are just layering over these like green utility jackets over anything and everything. I bought this last year and I wore it to death and I'm already wearing it again. Like this is my go-to jacket when I can wear a light jacket outside. And so I'm so happy to pull this out of my wardrobe again. I am obsessed with it. And I just feel like it. this just goes with everything. Like this color goes with denim so well and I literally wear jeans six out of the seven days of the week. So this, therefore this jacket is like perfect for my life. Next up is just gingham. I love the gingham trend. I loved it last year, I'm still loving it this year, and I picked up two things literally that could be the same thing um, from Madewell. Uh, the first is this gingham button-down shirt. I love it because it has like different gingham like around it. This is on sale for like $37 right now. It's a really good deal. It's a nice like sturdy cotton, great to tuck in. I love it so much. In fact, I loved it so much I decided to get a dress version of it. I bought this gingham, um, like, summery, playful dress from Madewell. Again, the two different gingham check sizes I think is really cute. And then it ties in the, in the back to make a more defined waist. But this is just like this quintessential, easy to throw on when it's hot outside dress. It's like super loose and breathable. And I love the uh, playfulness of the gingham print. And the last thing I'm going to talk about are my favorite things. They're my dirty Supergas. These sneakers are the absolute bomb. They go with everything. The white canvas makes them really durable, very washable. Um, I wore these every single day in Hawaii. I've been wearing them dirty as heck in Chicago. I love them. They go with everything so cute, like jeans, dresses, skirts. I'm not like a heels person and you know, your feet start to get hot in boots in the middle of the summer. So I know I'm gonna be wearing these every single chance I get because I do so much walking. Alrighty guys, those are all of my fashion favorites. Now moving on to music, movies, and TV shows. Starting first with music, honestly, I have been listening again a lot to The Decemberist. Clay and I saw The Decemberist live in Chicago earlier this month and it was so much fun. We went to the Chicago Theater, which is like a historic landmark in Chicago. So just being able to go there, one, at all was so cool. And then two, see one of my favorite bands was such a joyful experience and I just been, I loved it so much that I've just been listening to that album a bit on repeat. There's also been two other albums I've been really enjoying. First, The Weeknd released that EP. I'm a really big, the weekend fan. Um, I like his music a lot, so I've been listening to this EP on repeat as well. I really like it. It's very angsty, and I love a good angsty song. But I've also been listening to the Wonder Years newest CD. I don't listen to a lot of pop punk. Um, that's more Clay's wheelhouse, but I do really like the Wonder Wheels. The Wonder Wheels? I really do really like the Wonder Years. And their new album, Sister Cities, I think is really, really good. I don't think it's as good as their last release, but it's definitely like my second favorite. So I've been really liking that and I know they're touring soon. So I think Clay and I might see them in concert, which I think would be a lot of fun. Moving on to movies, the only movies Clay and I have seen recently have both been comedies. We first saw Game Night, which was absolutely hilarious. I would say probably one of the most laugh out loud comedies I've seen in a while. I just felt like every joke landed for me. I was just sitting in the theater like cackling. Clay and I both thought it was absolutely hilarious. So much great dialogue that just built, built on each other that just made it so funny. We also saw Blockers, which we also thought was pretty funny. Um, I wouldn't say it's as good as Game Night, but I definitely enjoyed it. And I also thought it handled the subject 
well because if it didn't handle the subject well I would have absolutely hated that movie. I also really love a lot of the actors in both of those movies so I had to go and see them. I think top of our list right now to go and see is Isle of Dogs which we haven't seen yet. Clay's a huge Wes Anderson fan. I hear there's a pug in the movie so that's kind of what sold me. Now moving on to TV, Clay and I have been failing mostly me. I mean I've been watching Survivor. But the thing is, I'm almost out of Survivor season, so like, I feel like this Survivor saga is about to come to an end because I'm out of seasons. But I did watch season 32 Second Chances this past week, and that season I think is my favorite Survivor season I've ever seen. It was just like next level gameplay for all my Survivor fans out there. It was so good. But honestly, like Survivor has really been all I've been watching, and then just like Bravo reality television. It's been, you know, you know, just watching the prime television, uh, just consuming, you know, top level societal uh, creations. Alrighty guys, those are all of my April favorites. Let me know down below some things you've been loving this month as I would love to know, and I'll see you guys soon with another video soon. Goodbye!